Hi everyone and happy Halloween! So the first step for the Wicked Witch Cupcakes is of course making your cupcakes. So I had made strawberry cupcakes the other day. So that is what I'm using, but of course make whatever kind of cupcake you want. What's great about this recipe is that there aren't a lot of uh, ingredients at all. So it's taking you through it, but we got Twizzlers, we got sparkle gel, we got fondant, green um, icing, the cupcakes, and pretzel sticks. So now you're seeing the black fondant out of the package and the two pretzel sticks to make the legs. From this footage, um, when I tried using the pretzel sticks to help make the shape smoother and just have that same shape for both of the legs and that consistency, I thought the pretzels would help, but honestly they ended up breaking so you can ixnay the pretzel sticks. But um, you know, you live and you learn. So here are the two legs right now, just as an idea of how it will kind of look before decorating it more, making the little shoe and that heel. The directions for this recipe and the original person who created this, of course, um, that link is in the bio. But they were talking about a teardrop method, but I honestly had so much trouble that I just ended up making it from the leg that I had already created. So I just spaced it out and did that. And as you can tell from my video, there's a lot of trial and error and just kind of picking at it here and there and just uh, making it look how I wanted it to. Baker who created this recipe, they did a great job with the legs. They did like white and black fondant and mixed it together to look like tights. Of course, just to save a little money, I didn't want to spend that much on fondant. So I thought, oh, these twizzlers will be great to wrap around, right? But no, nope, as you saw, they uh, were coming apart. They weren't sticking and staying together. So that was tough because I really tried to wrap it tight so it wouldn't. And I bought the sparkle gel to add a little flair to the whole shoe and tights and everything. Just to give it a little pop of color. So kind of looks crazy right there in that shot. Um, but again, probably would not buy the Twizzlers. Wouldn't recommend. But maybe if you just want a little color, just get that sparkle gel. Moving on from the leg fiasco. Now you'll be decorating the cupcake with the green icing and I love for Halloween that that was part of the recipe so I kept that the same. So now you're seeing um, me decorating it with one hand by the way because I was filming all of this with one hand and uh, doing the frosting so props to me. After you put the frosting on the cupcake now, one of the best parts is just finishing and creating and touching it up to be the best that it can be. So just moving it around to kind of see how the frosting's looking as you put it on the plate. And I had put one leg on, yep, and there's the second one right there to fully complete that whole Wicked Witch look. And I just thought this was the cutest thing. So yeah, like I said, the link's in the bio of the baker. Who thought of it but uh yeah just just really fun not too overwhelming of a project and i definitely uh recommend it if you want like a little fun halloween project baking wise uh to work on thank you guys again so much for watching this is kayla on kayla's cooking corner and before i forget to say it have a great halloween ooh, ooh, ooh.